Mr. Bergeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Hello. Hi. Um, thank you very much for coming. My name is Arthur Bergeron. I'm an attorney at Myrick O'Connell. Uh, Myrick O'Connell is a full service law firm. We're in uh, Westboro and Worcester. There are 56 of us. So whatever problems you've got, we can figure out if they're legal problems, but I do all of the elder law work. Um, the purpose of this presentation is to really talk about, though, um, folks who are, are concerned because they may be dealing with or may have symptoms that they think might be Alzheimer's related symptoms, or they may have a loved one who they think may have those symptoms, and they're saying to themselves, oh my God, what do I do? Now, I always consider my role as an elder law attorney to be to know the law, sure, but also to try to know who all of the players are who you might need to be talking to and, and dealing with when you're dealing with any of these issues. That's why I'm doing two presentations today. This is the first one focusing on early stage Alzheimer's, and then we're gonna talk a little bit more about late stage Alzheimer's later on. Um, so my, my clients are Frank and Mary. Frank and Mary uh, and their children, Peter, Paul, and Mary Jr. Now Frank and Mary are, are living the, by themselves now. Uh, their kids are all grown up. Peter is a lawyer out in New York, and Paul is a data pro programmer in San Diego. And Mary Jr. is the kind of designated daughter. She's the one who's going to be around to kind of take care of things if something bad happens to Frank and Mary. And their goal is very simple. They want to live in their house until they die, and they want to be buried in the backyard. And then after they die, whatever they've got left, they've got like to divide up among their kids. That's what their goal, right? Does that sound familiar? A lot of this is a lot of people, right? Um, and they, but their issue now is they've been living in their home mortgage is paid, and we'll talk about their financial situation a little bit later on, but their mortgage is paid, they're on social security and a pension, they're making about $3,000 a month. Everything's been okay. They've been able to pay all their bills, they've got some savings, right? But now Mary is getting forgetful, but more than just forgetful. And I guess that's the question. The question that Frank is asking himself now is, is Mary getting really, really forgetful? You know, is this a real issue? Are we seeing early stages of dementia? Um, what do we do? Is this about Alzheimer's? Now, the first thing that I tell people to do when they're talking to me about something like this, right? And certainly I'm talking to them about their finances, I'm talking to them about their house, saying, you know, don't worry, we can restructure things, you're gonna be okay. But I'd say, talk to the Alzheimer's Association, because they are the folks that are really the cutting edge organization dealing with all issues related to Alzheimer's. So I asked Tammy Pazaricki, uh, whose day job, she has a wonderful social day program for folks um, with early stages of dementia. She's gonna talk to you a little bit about that later. But I asked her to be here, because she's also on the Metro West Alzheimer's Partnership, a group of people who really try to focus in this area on helping folks out. So I wanted her to be talking a little bit about Alzheimer's, about early stages of dementia, and about kind of what you need to be thinking about. And then, as a social matter, you know, what, you, what you can be doing. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk a, a little bit about, once again, Frank and Mary's goal is to stay home. So if you're gonna stay home and this situation is occurring, how do you stay safe? So we're gonna have Carol DiRienzo talk for a little bit about that because that's one of the things that Carol does, is helps people who are at home to adapt their homes to stay safe. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about the financing that might be available for that, uh, and then we'll take questions. So to start, Tammy Pazaricki who's gonna talk to you about a lot of these issues regarding, you know, what, you know, is Alzheimer's there, and what do we do? Tammy. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to our seminar today. Um, what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about the statistics of Alzheimer's disease because it is absolutely staggering. Um, right now there's over 5 million Americans suffering with the disease process. In 2050 they're expecting 16 million will have the disease. 
Every 60 second, 67 seconds, someone is diagnosed with a disease. In 2050, they expect it to be every 33 seconds. It is the sixth leading cause of death now among Americans. One in three seniors are dying with some form of dementia. Um, in 2013, 15.5 million family and friends provided 17.7 hours, billion hours of unpaid care. That totals about $220.2 billion, okay? So this is an epidemic um, that just keeps growing. So that's the good news. That's the good news. Um, what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about is what is normal age-related memory issues versus having the signs and symptoms of Alzheimer's? Um, we're talking about having a slower recall than when we were younger, um, judgment and decision-making, recalling. So poor judgment and decision-making versus making a bad decision once in a while. The inability to manage a budget versus just missing a monthly payment once in a while. Losing the track of date and time and season. But if you have normal age-related memory, you're going to maybe forget what day it is, but when you really think about it, you can recall what day it is. Um, things that are becoming more difficult. So when we think Alzheimer's, the things that are happening in your brain, memory changes, they disrupt your daily life, so you're not able to function as well as you normally could. Performing daily tasks become uh, more difficult. Misplacing things. How many folks have misplaced their keys, right? What a person with normal memory issues related to age, you might forget where you put your keys, but you're able to retrace your steps of where you came from and say, oh yeah, that's where they are. Um, with someone with Alzheimer's, you're not able to do that. Retracing your steps of where you came from becomes more difficult. So you want to be concerned once you're looking for the milk and you find it in your cabinet versus the refrigerator, okay? Um, that's normal? No, that's not normal to find your milk in the cabinet. <laughs> right, right. Well, it depends on so, if it's a very cold cabinet. That's right. <laughs> you know? So it's things that are truly, um, you know, affecting the way you function. So if you're able to carry out all your tasks in the day, <clears> you have some, you know, we all hold conversations and we might forget a word, we might forget a name in our conversation, but eventually we're able to recall that. Someone with Alzheimer's really struggles to do that. So what is dementia? Dementia is a set of symptoms. So when a doctor gives a diagnosis of dementia, that's not a diagnosis. Dementia are a set of symptoms that is caused by a disease process. One of them being Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's is the most prevalent disease process that causes dementia symptoms, okay? So these are the symptoms that you'll find with Alzheimer's um, or dementia. Memory loss, problems with language and speech and writing, confusion. Those with a dementia symptom um, can have visual changes. So to give you an example of a visual change, sometimes a floor, if it's, very, if it's very shiny and has a glare, can almost look wet to someone with Alzheimer's. If you, a lot of times in a nursing home, if it's a specialized care unit, they'll put a big black rug in front of an exit door. And what that does for someone with Alzheimer's, it looks like a big hole in the ground that they're gonna avoid stepping into. So it's just a kind of a, a way to help folks not wander off. 